welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I'm actually heading back to the Palace Theatre to see The Lion King again but today I'm actually going to start on the front row so I'm on row AA of the stalls so I'm really excited because I've never sat that close before and it'll allow me to see the costumes better and just see the puppets more close up so I'm really excited it should be good. So when I get back I'll um, compare what I think of um, the views from each level because I have sat in the grand tier, I've sat in the circle and I've sat in the stores before so I'll tell you what I think about the view from each one of the, those, I'll tell you what I thought about sitting in the front row if I thought it was better or worse and I'll give you a quick review of the show as well so I'll go I'll show you any merch that there is I think I showed some merch last time but in case you've not seen the last video I'll show you all the merch and yeah I should be a good Good night, I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm going on my own and because I was going on my own I was able to get a single seat ticket for just £20. So I only paid £20 for this front row ticket. I think they're usually like £80 or something. They're a lot more expensive usually. Um, I was really lucky because when Lawrence went back on to get his single seat ticket they put them all back up to full price because they must have started to sell them. So they put them all back up to full price. And now the show's completely sold out so Lawrence can't get to go again now unfortunately. But he's been once so at least he's been um i'm just lucky i get an extra chance to go so yeah it should be a good night and i'll get back to you now once i am at the theater <laughs> so i've just arrived at the tram stop literally just missed them but there's another one in five minutes so not too long. just arrived at the theatre. I'm in the stalls but I'm just going to go up to the circle because the toilets are open up here and then I thought I might as well show you they have merch on every level so you don't have to get the merch in the foyer if there's a big queue. They do sell merch on each level. So. Get a look at the grand here. So I might as well go and look at the pier. So this is the grand here. So I'll pay this down. 
the little minions as well. But there's no merch up here. And then they have the grand fit as well. I just came here. So there's the special view from the grand tier. It's a very top tier. I'm just going to get the lift back down to the circle. You can't go all the way down to the foyer, but I'm just going to go down to the circle. So we're just in the lift now. It's all decorated in little moons. I'm just going to back down to the circle and to the circle bar, which where the lift comes out. There you go, so I'm back in the circle bar. Come out onto the circle level. Just gonna. Yes, this is the circle level. So now I'm gonna go back down to the square. So it's now 7 o'clock, and we go back down to the squares. Show you the bells in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna head down to the stalls. Now it's just down here. Don't need any merch today because we've already got some. If you look in the bars, because still got half an hour to the start. That's this quite small one. And I think this one's a little bit bigger. I don't often go in this one. Oh no, this one's smaller. Much smaller. You can tell I don't go in bars very much. Uh, so there's my ticket. Stalls AA16. And I got a really good price on this. I only actually paid £20 for this seat because it was a single seat on its own. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to go find my seat now. So I'm on row AA, seat 16. So. It is an aisle seat or end of the row seat in the middle section. So it's the very front row. So like I said, they also sell the merch in the auditorium. So if you don't want to queue. Sorry. You can get merch in the auditorium as well. This should be nice. So if you need booster seats at the line then i just buy the toilets on either side. So I'm now in my seat in the auditorium. I'm on row 8A, seat 16. And the view's really good. There's loads of leg room here. I am sat right next to the stairs where all the animals go up and stuff. It's a little bit tight here. So I'll just show you the view and I'll show you where the stairs are. So this is the view from my seat. So it's front row, but it's not really close to the stage. And the stage isn't that high up. I think the view's going to be pretty good from here. As you can see, the stairs right here next to my seat here. So, yeah, should get a really good view from here. So I meant to come in for the other door so I could show you my telephone. She's just at the back here. 
is now the in spot and I'm absolutely loving the inside now. The detail you can see on all the costumes is absolutely amazing. Definitely recommend sitting on the front row if you can. It's real good, I can just say. I'm going to go back to my seat now and I'll get back to you on some of the I hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Um, this is a very special month. It's LGBTQ plus History Month, which is a tip. Thank you very much. What that means is a time to reflect on the community and where it's been and where it's going, alongside celebrating the LGBTQ plus family, friends, and colleagues around you. What this we at Disney have done is paired with this wonderful charity, Diversity Role Models, with work, which works with young adults and young children to make a more inclusive society. As such, they've been, they've been accepted by the Department of Education to create a program against anti-bullying and also against um, make it, in making a more inclusive society is what they're trying to do. So what um, I'm saying is that at the, um, the back, there's a poster <laughs> with a QR code on it. It's um, so for you to be able to donate to this cause. I hope that you have the time to do so, and I hope that you have a wonderful evening. So the show's finished now. I'm just at the tram stop waiting for tram. Mine's not due for another seven minutes. I must have just missed one, but the show was amazing. So I'll talk more about it when I get there. late now but I thought I would just tell you a little bit about the show uh, so today obviously I went to see the Lion King at the Palace Theatre in Manchester uh, now Lion King is currently on its UK tour and it is in Manchester till the 11th of March it's then moving on to its next venue I can't remember which venue is next but I'll leave a link below to Lion King's official website tour page where it lists all the venues it is going to be touring to uh, the Manchester shows are completely sold out um, when I looked on I actually think there was one ticket left for one of the one day and that was it and all the rest is completely sold out so unfortunately you won't be able to get tickets for the Manchester shows uh, but you could get tickets for um, another uh, venue on its tour uh, so like I said I'll link the tour website down below for you so today i was sat in the stalls i was on row aa seat 16 i think it was so i was in the center um block um front row on the aisle seat and the view from there was absolutely amazing there's loads of red leg room there as well um because you are next to the orchestral pit and there's a massive space so everyone was putting their coats and bags in front of them because there was so much space um, which was good and and yeah the view was was really good there was some restrictions because you are so close to the stage I mean it isn't as high up as some stages and you weren't as close to some stages are you as you would be in some other theatres you do have the orchestral pit um, so you're not right at the stage and then you also leave like a big gap between you and the orchestral pit um, so you weren't dead close to the stage you weren't having to do this however when um some of the actors were far back on the stage you couldn't see them if anyone laid down on the stage you couldn't see them so at the part where um Rufasa dies and Simba's sat over him I couldn't see uh Mufasa at all and I could just about see Simba's head um what were the other parts there's a part uh, I think where the lionesses come in and they're crying and they're bent down 
on the floor. Uh, I couldn't see them because they were too low. Um, there was a, the other part was when Simba's lying on the floor and Timon and Pumbaa uh, are saying, oh, there's a lion. I didn't even know Simba was there until he said, there's a lion. I didn't even realise he was on the floor because I couldn't see him. Um, so there is some bits you do miss out. And like I said, if some people are very far back to the stage, you can't see them. However, I've seen The Lion King many, many times. Um, so I knew the story and I knew what was going on. Uh, so it didn't matter that I missed those bits because I knew what was going on. Um, so maybe if it's your first time seeing the show, maybe sitting that on the front row isn't the best idea because you will miss some bits. But if you've seen it before, it is worth sitting there because you can see the detail in the costume so well and it was amazing to actually be able to see the puppets um, so close up so I enjoyed tonight's show so much more I think than any other time that I've seen The Lion King and I've seen The Lion King I think it's toured to Manchester two times before this I think it's its third time to Manchester um, the first time it came to Manchester I actually worked at the Palace Theatre as front of house staff so I would be, I was often one of the ushers, um, so obviously you get to stand at the back and watch it. So I've seen the show stood at the back of the Grand Tier, I've seen it stood at the back of the Circle, and I've seen it from standing at the back of the stalls. Uh, I've also paid money for tickets, and I've sat in the Circle once, and I've sat in the stalls once before as well. Um, but yeah, I've never seen the puppets or the costumes as well as I did tonight. It was absolutely amazing. I was just studying all the costumes and looking at the puppets and seeing how all the puppets worked. And it was amazing. I definitely recommend if you've seen the show before um, to sit at the front seat because you can, like I said, you can see all the detail in the costumes and the puppets. And the puppets and costumes in this show are amazing. Absolutely outstanding. I think it's probably one of the best shows for costumes and puppetry um, I don't think I've seen any other shows with such beautiful costumes and such amazing puppets this show is definitely the best for that so definitely if you want to see the costumes close up or see the puppets in more detail and you want to see how they work definitely try and sit front row because you, you get an amazing view from there. Uh, I was also sat right next to the steps um, so if you don't know in this show um, some of the characters walk through the aisles at certain points and they come up the steps so I was sat right next to the steps so I got to see all the animals come up on stage. I think next to me was the rhino, the rhino came up um, and some of the ladies that hold the white birds and then um, Simba runs off the stage down them steps at one point and so does Zazu and I think on the other side you get Mufasa coming up the steps um, so yeah that was interesting to see that in more detail so that was really good um, in comparison when I was sat last time I was on row G um, which isn't too much further back but I was on the other end like at the very far end so it did, I didn't get to see them coming up the aisle or anything uh, close up then and you couldn't see the costumes in anywhere near as much detail or see the puppets as well and it wasn't obviously it's not that far back row G but yeah sitting in in that front row was really good and I, today was definitely my favorite viewing of the show so today I actually didn't buy any merch and I didn't buy a program because I wasn't aware that the cast has actually changed not all the cast some of the cast has actually changed since I last saw it at the palace so I went to see it uh, early December it is now February and some of the cast have changed um, so I do have my program that I bought in December and I thought I wouldn't need to buy a new program and I probably did because like I said the cast some of the cast have actually changed. Um, I will show you the cast in in here because some, a lot of them are still the same. There are some cast changes and I can show you that on their website who the cast changes are. 
so yeah in fact two of the new principal actors were actually understudies when I went to see the show they weren't on when I went but they were the understudies for the show at the time when I went and they're now principal so that's really good so anyway I might as well go through this now and just show you the cast so if you haven't seen my previous um vlog and review video of the lion king now i'll just quickly show you the program again so on the first page you just got a bit of information about the palace theater and upcoming shows then you got some more information for the palace theater it's got some um old drawings of the theater here and its layout you got uh welcome to pride lands You've then got your cast list here. Like I said, some of the cast have changed from this where I went last time. And then here you've got uh, your scenes and musical numbers. So this, these are your ooh, these are your scenes in Act One with the musical numbers. And uh, Act Two. And then there was, it says here that there will be a 15 minute interval. And then this is your cast list. So, uh, Richard Hurst as Scar. So, he was still Scar at this one. And he's not changed. He was amazing. I think I said last time that he was my favourite uh, performer. And I think he probably st still was. Along with... Um, the lady that played Rafiki, which is, I can never pronounce her name, is it Fundazzo Fundaz Sonny um, as Rafiki? She was amazing. Seeing her close up and all the makeup and her costume um, was so good and her voice was amazing. You could hear it really well with being sat at the front. Um, and yeah, I thought she gave an amazing performance as well. Um, so she was the same. Uh, Mufasa was Jean-Luc Guzzoni and again he was really really good. The whole cast was good, I can't really fault any of the cast to be honest, they're all really good. Matthew Forbes was still be playing Zazu. Alan McHale was, was Timon. Uh, Carl Sanderson was Pumba. And then one of the difference is Simba, so it's no longer Stevenson Arden Soji playing Simba. It is now it is now Carl Richardson playing Simba and he was actually the understudy back when I went to see it in December. He wasn't on but he was listed as one of the understudies for Simba back then. So he's now playing the principal role of Simba and I have to say he was really good. I actually really enjoyed Simba's solo song um, and I don't even remember it last time uh, but he had an amazing voice and I just thought he sang it so well. I don't know if it made a difference being sat so close up because I could see uh, his acting through the song I just thought he did it really really well and I just really enjoyed his solo performance that he did. So Nala was the same as back when I saw it in December. So, Nakwanda Kuzweo, Kuz, I'm, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce the name, but yeah, she was still playing Nala. Um, again, she was really, really good. I think I mentioned last time she was one of my favourites. She had a, a really lovely voice. Shenzi was played by, by Rebecca. Uh, it, she is now no longer in the show. And Shenzi is now played by Candida. Was Soma, um, and she was great. I thought she was really good. Um, Benza is now played by Jarel Kafik Kamal, um, and he was actually an understudy for Benza last time. He wasn't on, but he's listed as the understudy, and he's now the principal um, for Banzai. It was previously Simon Trinder. So Ed was last time Owen Reese davies it is now Alex 
Blue Matte Plain Ed. So, Young Simba for this performance was Miles Jabi. Uh, he wasn't a young Simba back in December, he is new. And then Young Nala was actually the same Nala that I saw back in December. Um, let me just find her. So it was Lauren Simp Asante playing Young Nala. And like I said, she was Young Nala back in December when I went to see it. So um, she was just as good as the first time I saw her. So she was really good. And then you have your ensemble and your swing. So I'm not sure if all the ensemble of swings are still the same or if there's been a few changes. I think there probably has been a few changes. Um, because some of the people that were ensemble and swing are now principal actors. So. And that is more or less everything in the program. It's just then you create a team and um, stuff like that. It does show you in here some of the merch that you can get. I really like this hoodie. I thought that was really nice. I think it was £40. Um, I didn't buy anything this time around, but last time I did buy a magnet, and I think it was £10, which I think is really expensive for a magnet. Um, didn't buy anything else. Uh, I did film it for you, all the merch that they did have. It was pretty much the same as what they had last time. And then the rest of the programme is just adverts. There's an advert there for Disney Cruise. This lists some of the shows that are coming to the palace and that is the program so yeah uh lion king for me is one of my favorite musicals i just think it is so magical so amazing i just the like i, I think i said in my last video the circle of life opening number uh for this musical has to be one of the best openings of any musical it is it's just amazing it's absolutely outstanding and i honestly i only paid 20 pound for my seat because i got a single seat and it was on offer at the time when i purchased it so i only paid 20 pound for my front row seat and to be honest i would have paid 20 pound for that front row seat just to watch the circle of life number and i would have been happy because it was outstanding from that seat oh i just i just absolutely loved it it was so good so obviously i'm giving the show five stars you just can't fault it the costumes the puppetry the acting from the cast it was all excellent um the lion king movie is probably one of my least favorite disney movies it's not one of my favorites at all uh, but I just love the musical. I love all the songs in this musical. I especially love all the new songs they put in it. Um, I just I love all the Africa music that's in there. Um, I just love it. I just love I just love the songs from this musical. I think they're great. Um, I do think the story isn't the best um, for, of, from other musicals, but everything else that it has um makes up for that the story is not terrible it's just not the best story out of like some other musicals uh but it's a really fun show it's it's family friendly although i wouldn't take my children at the moment because i think they're a bit small um because it is obviously a long show and there is some scary bits for children like when when the uh when mufasa dies i think my children would be upset by that um and obviously it's, it's very loud as well, so I don't think my children would enjoy it yet. Um, but I think probably from the age of seven, six or seven, I think pe kids would really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, like I said, I give the, the show five stars and I absolutely love it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little theatre vlog. I tried to film a little bit more this time than I did last time. Uh, I thought I'd show you a bit around the theatre and show you the different levels and the view from each level. And just in case you're going and you wanted to see um, 
what it's like and where the bars are so I just thought I'd give you a bit more of a tour around the palace and you see a bit more just so the content was a bit different from last time so hopefully hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon for another theatre vlog bye